Hello and welcome to this second in a series of instructional videos about the ease of access environment in Windows 10. Now ease of access is where we can make some changes as to how we interact with the operating system. Also it's going to be a great place if we have a visual impairment, a hearing impairment or a physical impairment. This is where we're going to make some of those changes to make life easier for ourselves. Now in this particular video we're going to be looking at making some changes to the mouse pointer and also the cursor. So without further ado let's make a start. We're going to be looking at the cursor and pointer. In the previous one we looked at display. Now we're going to come back from the beginning and we're going to bring the mouse down to the far left bottom where the start icon is. I'm going to click on left click on start and everything by the way is a left click unless I tell you otherwise. So I'm going to click on start then we're going to come up here power and then the second one is settings. I'm going to click on settings which looks like a cog. Now we're in the Windows setting environment. Over on the far right is the ease of access so we're going to click on that. And as I mentioned in the previous video, this is where we make all the changes to personalize the operating system to how we want it to, to be. So we're gonna click on cursor and pointer. And here we can make our changes. Now, for those of you who may have noticed, my pointer is not the traditional white. And I'm gonna show you how I did that. But first, we're going to start from the top and work our way down. So the first thing we can do is we can change the size of the pointer. And we can just simply um, left click and then hold the mouse button down. And sorry about that. And then, as I say, hold the mouse button down. You see it says number one. Then we can drag this all the way across all the way to 15 and that would increase the size of the mouse pointer. Now at this point I have to let you know that for some reason this screen capture software doesn't show you the viewer the mouse pointer increasing in size. It's still to you it still looks the same size so you're going to have to take my word on this. But you did see as I slid the pointer across it went from 1 to 15. Give this a try and you'll see what I mean. At the moment it's on 15 and it is way too large. It's ridiculously large. So I'm going to reduce this back. Now you don't have to left click and slide. You can just click anywhere along this bar. Left click anywhere along this bar and it will go there. So let's go to the middle. That took us to 7. Let's go back down to 1 which is what I prefer. So we're back down to 1. Underneath that we have change pointer colour. As I say, when you get the operating system, the mouse pointer is going to be white. That's over here. So I've just changed it back to the white color. Now you can see it's white. If you want it to be black, you can click the next one, which is going to be black. So it's a black pointer with a white outline. Next, we have the contrast pointer. Now what will happen with that is, and again I don't think the screen capture software does this justice, I don't think it captures it, because when the mouse pointer is on the black section it seems to disappear when I'm using this option, at least to you it does, but to me I can see it's a white mouse pointer. If I move this pointer over onto the white part of the square that, that we've got here, it now becomes black. If I move it onto the black part to me it becomes white but to you it's probably disappeared. So I like the colour option. So we're going to click on this pie, little thing with a pie chart and it gives us a whole host of colour options. This is lime that I'm using. Next one would be yellow. Then we have gold, pink, turquoise, green, and purple. If you want some other colours we have pick a custom colour 
point of colour here and you can use this colour chart. I'm going to leave this on lime. Personally I cannot see the difference between lime and yellow but like I say I'm partially colour blind. So we're going to come down further down the screen here. Make the cursor easier to see when typing. Now if you've ever um, typed a letter and you try to look for where you've left the cursor and it, it's, it's just difficult to spot. This is how you can change that to make it easier to find. So let's put this down to one, which is where it's normally at. So I leave it at two. So I'm going to open up Notepad. Here we go, Notepad. I'm going to type some gibberish. So there we go, it's just some gibberish. Now at the end of the word QWERTY, you will see the cursor. At the moment it's not flashing, but it was a second ago. I'm going to press the space bar and you'll see it flashing again. There we go, it's now blinking. We can change the size of that. I'm going to turn it up to maximum. So I'm going to drag this across to 20. I'm going to bring back the notepad and now you can see the cursor flashing. Thing is, it hasn't changed the size of the text. So let's type QWERTY again. There we go, as you can see the text is, remains the same. The only thing that's changed is the, the cursor. So you can choose whatever size you want. Let's, let's put that to say around about the middle. That's, that's 9. I know 10 is the middle but here we go. And you'll see the, the cursor's changed again. Now I used to leave it on 1 but I've recently gone up to 2 just to make life a little bit easier for me. Well, let's close that down because I don't need that anymore. Now the final option here is change touch feedback. This is great if you've got a touch screen. I don't have a touch screen so I cannot show you that feature. Again that's something you can play around with if you've got that. So the, these are things that we can do. Now over on the right hand side here you see related settings. So we have additional mouse settings. Then we have touchpad settings. So if we click additional mouse settings we can make some alterations here but we're not going to go into that. I just wanted to make you aware that you can if you wanted to. So yeah, why not? Let me show you something here. Select your primary button. So most people use the left mouse button to, to click links and do stuff. You can change that by clicking on that and change it to the right button if you want it to be on the right hand side. So if you're left handed you might want to click the right button. Then we have roll the mouse wheel to scroll and you have a choice between multiple lines at a time which is the default and then one screen at a time. I would recommend leaving it at this default setting. Choose how many lines to scroll through each time. So this is where you can fine tune it. Scroll inactive window when I hover over them. Again, something you can play around with. But let's come back. Now we have touchpad settings. This is where if you don't use a mouse and you're using the touchpad, you can make some settings to try and make it easier for you to use. I would highly recommend, if that is the case, that you're using a touchpad, go out, buy yourself a mouse. It could be a wireless mouse, it could be a wired mouse, it doesn't matter. Just get yourself a mouse and I promise you, you will not regret it. So let's come back to the settings. So that's the cursor and pointer. I could go onto the magnifier and everything else, but I want to try and keep this to, to just one maybe two at the most um, in, in the settings here to make your life easy. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you found it informative. If you like it, please click the like button, giving it a thumbs up. If you want to be notified of any other videos that we upload, click the notification icon. Thank you for watching.